So here is my new convection oven. It's kind of like having uh, a toaster oven slash a little, you know, like a cup, a cupboard top oven. I can't think of the words right now. Anyway, um, that will show that you have power on. Yes, it is plugged in. <clears throat> it's got little feet on the back and on the bottom that show that, that won't let you like bump right into the wall. So you can leave plenty of room back behind there. This clear over here on the end, that's the light. And when the power is on, you can leave that on or turn it off however you want. <clears throat> this turns the power on and you can adjust it. This is for your toast, uh, light, medium, dark, this is where you control your function. This is for the toaster part. <clears throat> um, there's two broil settings. And I'll have to get out the book to look at that. Um, then there's just warm to ho hold something, keep it warm. There's also two bake settings. And then there's the air fry setting. So you can use it like a normal oven, but you can also use it as an air frying fryer thingy. <laughs> My English is so good today. Anyway, the temperature goes up to 450, which most of these ovens go up to 500, I believe, but this one only goes up to 450. But uh, this is it. There's plenty of ventilation on the sides and the top, just like all the other stuff. And this is how you pull it down. I've got all of the stuff in here right now. You get a pan to fry or whatever on and let that. This is a shelf. Just keep that in there. This you can just sit it in there as a shelf. And it'll go in there on that one. But this is for your like fries or whatever. And uh, I keep, I'm pretty sure that this is where this goes. I don't think it goes up here because it doesn't fit. But it might go like on top. As a baking rack, I'm not sure. You could probably use it for that. You could use it down here to catch your toaster crumbs. So I'm gonna just leave it down there so I know what it's for. This is really solid too. This is um, a good solid item. I'm just gonna stick that back in there for now, and I'll stick the pan back in there, and I'll just do like the oven and keep everything in there until you need it. But uh, that's it. It's pretty easy to run. <clears throat> that's your temperature. And I forgot to tell you that this is the uh, oven timer. So you don't even have to consult a timer. It's a little ding when it goes off. And it has, you know, every minute. And you can leave it in for up to an hour. So, yeah, there's even little vent holes on the top here. So this is it. It's great so far.